What's up guys, your boy French Fry Warriors here, and today, yeah, I'm the drill. We're here for this apocalypse spin-off. And I believe from what I've been hearing, this should be where things end. And trust me, I've been hearing a lot of crazy things. So let's just quickly get into it and see, you know, how this ends with Ra versus Q. So I believe last we left off like chapter three, he was getting like bust up. Like he was it was literally like it was looking bad for the dude, like mad bad. So we'll see how it turns out now. So the Ulster cycle, which contains the legends of Q and the goddess of war, Morrigan and others, is a collection of folk of oral traditions. Thus, there are many variations in the legends as they are meant to tell their stories. Okay. But there is truth to them as well, known only by those whom the legends concern. Okay, so is she gonna speak for Q now? That ain't all there is to your power, is it, Hound? Because she knows. So I guess, yeah, she knows Q's power. The only man to have ever beaten me. Wait, what? What? Wait, he fought? When did they fight? I mean, obviously they fought before the tournament, but like, Damn, so that means they fought and he actually beat her. So that means he's confirmed to be stronger than her. What is this man going to do to make this comeback? I got to see this. How can he still stand? That's what I'm wondering. The amount of damage I inflicted upon to him should far surpass that which could be endured through mere guts or willpower. The remarks was not made out of pride, but out of simple, simple objectivity possessed by a top class fighter now that's how i'm saying like he delivered a lot of punches bro that's why i'm really curious how q is like is still alive big ass hand Ra was certain that this strangeness he sensed was none other than the divine power that q harbored within himself damn he transformed a bit and he got the muscles and everything. What followed next after an exchange which would not last for more than five seconds would decide the match for both contestants. What yo, what fee yeah, what fee is this dude about to pull off? That thing which Q hurled forth was the one thing shared by every story as told by every teller of the Ulster cycle the oh i had to like bend my head a little bit <laughs> the sure hit sure kill curse spear what gay bold okay he used his spear in the brief span of time it took that thing time to travel it took that thing to travel ross settled upon an all-out evasive maneuver all present in the arena then his choice was correct whether strong or weak were under the belief that the thing was far too powerful to guard against yeah you got that power behind him it seems but they did say it's a it's a sure hit sure kill but just as rod thought that he had dodged that thing q lunged forth with enough speed to catch up to catch up with it and fired it off again However, it was not thrown as it was the first time. That thing spoken in the stories of the Ulster. What? Yo, this dude is performing like some nutty shit right now. Like, he literally came up, transformed a bit, is now yeeting this thing. The spear that apparently is unavoidable and is a sure kill. Threw it at Rod. Now he's jumping back. And I'm assuming he's going to kick this thing now. The sure hit, sure kill, curse spear, gable. The meaning of its name. Did it like catch his foot? Is the swelling spear. By that thing, it does not mean the weapon itself. It's wait. Yo, Q. That which is called the gable is a technique affected by destroying one's own weapon and turning it into fragments into an unavoidable hail of shrapnel 
Yo, okay, I see where he was going. Because at first I was really confused. I was like, I was like, what is this dude doing with this? Where is he going with this? But then he literally shattered into a bunch of shrapnels. And they all got power behind it. You know they all got power. Like the special technique of the demigod Q. Damn. It's really gonna one shot Rado. Don't you dare promise real maximum output. Oh, once that thing is fired off, it can neither be avoided nor guarded against. I can see how it can almost not be avoided. Like this is a sure hit and the kill is probably because it's so powerful. Did he just kill Ra? The one thing shared across every story as told by storytellers of the legends of Ulster, the sure hit, sure kill, cursed spear. It's that thing is called the Gale Bug. And he just won like that. It's all over. Round one, match one. 15 minutes, 13 seconds. What? What? This dude really won. This, yo. This dude really just made a comeback off of one move. Like the first hit he actually got was the one that literally this, yo. Yo, I. <laughs> Let me, I'll, I'll save for later. I'll save for later about Ra and, and Q. I'll save for, I mean, this chapter is probably, it is over. That is the end. What the hell? That was a short ass chapter. I'm not going to lie, but bro, we went through, this is chapter four. We went through chapter one. I think, no, they didn't start fighting really. They just announced the fight in chapter one, but chapter two through three, like, Q was like, yeah, he was getting his ass handed to him. Like, it was really one sided. I was like, damn, I feel like bad for my dude. But then, like, this chapter, he gets one good hit off. That's a sure hit, sure kill, curse spear, and just rocked Ra down. Is Ra even alive? Is he dead? I, he looks dead. He looks like he got pierced the fuck up. Like, he looks dead. And. The thing that I was seeing online was, yeah, like, people were saying, like, calling Ra, like, a fraud, and then, like, yo, this, is this y'all king? <laughs> yo, Q was just broken, bro. It ain't no Ra's weak. Q was just broken. Like, I'm not really, like, upset about it. Like, yeah, I actually kind of, like, wanted Ra to win low-key. But, like, apparently Q got that, Q got that power. He got that. I don't want to say main character syndrome, but like, holy crap, man. Like he just, he just literally just made a comeback just like that. And they said like he beat it, uh, the other one, he beat it her. So that means he's stronger than her potentially, unless she got stronger. And it's like, uh, bro, like, I don't even know what to say. I really don't like, this is insane. This type of comeback is insane. Like. Luckily, this is not canon because this would have been the most craziest comeback ever in records of Ragnarok. But I, I don't think any comeback is going to come back crazier than this. Dude got beaten around like a rag doll all throughout the match for two chapters straight. Didn't land a single hit. The one hit he lands cooks rock and looks like it killed him. Like, bro, like, oh my gosh. Anyway. I don't really have that much thoughts on this. It's kind of like I already said it with Ra getting basically rocked. But it was, it was cool to see what Ra could do. It was really cool. And then Q just, yeah, he just made the craziest comeback ever. But as I said, this was a very short chapter, only like 23 or 24 like pages. And it was really just a hype up to hit Ra with this monstrosity. This shit said it lasted 15 minutes. I, that, th this fight did not feel like 15 minutes. Chill, it felt like five minutes, bro. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So honestly, I guess now with uh, that out of the way, now that this round is finished, I'm gonna make fulfill my promise that I said earlier in chapter one, where it's like once a round is done, I'll compile like all the um, 
you know, all the scenes, the pages together to make it just one straight fight. And then I'll be reviewing the fight like all entirely, you know, uh, as you all know, it's going to be similar to my usual review video. So that's going to take a little bit while I'm going to com compile it together. It'll be basically chapters one through four. And yeah, I'll discuss more about everything in this in this uh, in that review. I'm just I'm shook, man. I'm just a little bit shook. But you know, you know what? Good for you. Good for you. I really wonder if Rod is dead. But I guess we'll get that answered in the next chapter. And with that out of the way, I appreciate y'all for coming to this short chapter. Let me know how y'all think about this type of comeback. Like, oh my gosh, bro. Insane. But I mean, if you really think about it, it does make sense because this is this is a side story. It's not gonna put as much effort into like the actual matches that go on in the actual Ragnarok, you know? It's a side story, so it's probably gonna be shorter. And I just wasn't expecting this comeback. But you know, I'm I'm fine if it's this short, honestly. It doesn't need to drag it to like seven chapters. But yeah, thank you once again for coming to check out my video. As I said, I'll get that review up whenever I can. Be on the lookout for that one too. And with that out of the way, I'll let y'all go. I'll catch y'all later. Have a safe day and be good people out there. Appreciate y'all once again. Catch y'all in the next video. Peace.